Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Reiter, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for tuning in to my latest video. If you're watching for the first time, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. We have a patient who had uh, used a Q-tip, so uh, we call him a cotton bud in the UK, to try and relieve his blocked ear, but unfortunately they only managed um, to further impact this wax right up against the eardrum. So this is really impacted and squashed right up, at, right up against the eardrum. So we've just gone in with a zone of suction probe. The patient had been using a bit of oil prior to attending, so that did help the procedure. Uh, but just softened the wax and lubricated it off the tympanic membrane. You can see the patient's also bruised. Just over here on the right hand side, the ear canal slightly red. So the Q-tip had uh, grazed and rubbed against uh, the anterior canal wall. So we call that the front part of the ear canal. So on the right ear, the front part is the right side of the ear canal. We call that the anterior canal wall. Um, I slightly bruised that. Um, so we can see three quarters of the eardrum, so uh, the tympanic membrane. There's a bit of wax still impacted on the superior anterior quadrant, i.e. northeast if you're looking at a compass. So superior means the top part of the um, eardrum, the roof, anterior means to the right, so the front, and it's that little quadrant. You can imagine if you've, it's like a, if we were to slice a cake, you can see there's a little um, a quarter section um, of wax right on the eardrum. Just using the fine end gorged, and because the wax is really deep and it's on this anterior wall, within the anterior recess, I've had to bend the tip of the fine end to get around the canal wall. Just removed a bit of wax from the roof of the ear canal as well. So it's still just a little bit. Now the patient's symptoms were more or less alleviated at this point because the patient was very still and I felt very confident. I thought, let me just get this wax off the attic. So this is the attic region of the eardrum. We also call that the pars flaccida. It's a very sensitive part of the, the eardrum. There is some wax centrally on the eardrum. We call that the umbo. Um, so the umbo is where the hammer bone connects to the eardrum. The wax was a bit stubborn there, so I hovered over it. It wasn't budging, so I just left that behind. That's not going to cause the patient any problems whatsoever. And as the skin dies and sheds from the eardrum, it will migrate outwards. We call that epithelial migration of the ear canal. And that wax will naturally migrate out. We don't want to risk puncturing and perforating the eardrum. So we did try and hover over it. It was a bit more deared, a bit stuck. Nice, healthy eardrum. I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it's very um, short and sweet. Um, but sometimes those videos are the really interesting ones. But I, I really enjoy performing procedures off the eardrum and I hope it made good viewing. Take care guys. Bye.